Hey guys, Betty here. Shore Life Creations. I'm a little bit early, as usual. You know me. But I'm going to take a few minutes to set everything up here. Since I'm early, give everybody a chance to come on. We'll set up live alerts. Let's see. Maybe. Depending on whether mini chat wants to cooperate. Let's see. All right, that should be active. Oh my. Y'all flew in. You know me too well. Hey, Susan. Hey, Cindy. I'm doing great. Now I'm going to find you on my phone. Because it seems to be easier. Let's see if I can find it. On my phone. It's easier to read. There it is. The comments on my phone. Okay, I got that set up too. I'm getting right good at this. I know, Diane. Fall is just around the corner. I'll make sure my camera's all straight. Hopefully we won't have issues today. Hey, Tamara. How are you? Thank you for stopping by. Tamara is one of my friends I met at the Mastermind. And she is a door hanger guru. Sweet as she can be. We met so many good friends there. People to bond with and share struggles with. And it was just so much fun. I keep hearing myself on something and I wonder what it is. I wonder if it's my phone. Thank you. I'm just telling the truth. Okay, I got the volume all the way off on my phone. Hey, Pat. Welcome. Hey, Lucy. We like first-timers. Hey, Gail. I hope everybody's having a good day. I'm going to do a fall... I need to really get busy on my Christmas because Christmas is selling. I sold another Christmas wreath. The one that I did Wednesday with the Santa beard, the big Santa face with the beard, he sold. So, yeah, I need to get busy on my Christmas, but I can't seem to let fall go. I don't know why. Is it Fredna? That's an unusual name. Welcome. Um, so, I got these two signs from Queen V Designs, and they're both just precious, and I'm leaning towards this one, just this one here, only because I'm not sure what ribbons or anything to use with this one, although I love the colors in it. It's not your traditional fall. It's different, but I can't seem to wrap my head around what bow to go with. So I think we're going to go with this one today. And I've already put my little um, cable tie mounts on the back. And you see they're not straight across from each other. Because when I go to attach this, it's going to be at a different position. So I marked with a pencil where they needed to go through the grapevine so I can zip tie them down. Because I'm going to put this here, put a bow here, and then we're going to fill in the rest. Now y'all have all the skinny on what's happening. You got the skinny on what's happening, guys. But first we're going to make our bow. 
Because you know that's how I roll. Because we gotta do the bow first. And I picked out these two ribbons. I don't know where this one came from. But this one, the green burlap came from um, Khalees. Came from Khalees, and Khalee just got, hey Julia, Khalee just got, I tell you, the messages keep popping up on my computer, um, a new shipment of ribbon in. Cute stuff, and it will be posted on her Etsy shop. She said this weekend, so I can't wait. I've been pestering her. I've been pestering her because some of it I cannot live without. Can you believe that, guys? There's a ribbon I cannot live without. Like, I need more ribbon. All right. Now, let's get where you can see what I'm doing. Maybe. Zoom me in, because you don't need to look at me anymore. Zoom me in. All right. What am I, what am I stepping in? Yes, Pat. Kali. K-E-L-E-A-S. Look it up on Etsy. She has a shop and she sells supplies along with her wreaths and things. But she's got some good supplies. All right. On with the bow. And you guys that watch me all the time know that I kind of fly by the seat of my pants when I'm making this stuff because I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this until I get doing it. And then I go, oh yeah, I'm going to do two wraps around this one. And I'm not going to use the last peg. You're welcome, Pat. Just don't buy the ribbon I want before I get it. Like I said, she's going to have it posted, she said, this weekend. Hey, Tisha. How are you? I was telling them, Tish, I need to be working on Christmas. And I'm still stuck on fall. I can't seem to let it go. I mean it, Pat. Don't be buying the ribbon I want before I get it. I'll have to come hunt you down. You know, the ribbon addiction is real. Now, if I could paint like Tamara does, I do a little painting and I do some signs, but nothing to the extent of what she does. I'm actually thinking about joining her group to learn, because, you know, I don't think you can have too many skills, and I enjoy painting. Painting's very relaxing. This ribbon is so thick, it's going to be hard to keep it in line. I have to use my finger. Rough week at work. I'm sorry. Hey, Diane. I used to have those. I don't have those rough weeks at work anymore. And I thank the dear Lord every day that I don't have to do that anymore because I had some rough rough months that weeks turned into months all right let's get this tied off Tamara is the painter she does door hangers and we're trying to talk her into doing downsizing them to be wreath attachments She was just here. She may have just popped in and popped out. 
but she was just here. And if I could remember off top of my head her business name, I would tell you. But again, you guys know I'm not good with names. But if she's still here, Tamara, if you would post your business name, I'd appreciate it. Because you never know where your next great painter might come from. Might be one of these girls or guys that's watching this video. Fluff box. Oh, Lord. <coughs> the, her business name is right on the tip of my tongue. That's going to bother me until I figure it out. Something adorn, adornments. I think. Thank you, Diane. You never know, Gail. But I was lucky. I know I was lucky. Because we owned a business for a long time. And it was a lot of work. A lot of hours. A lot of stress. And we were very fortunate that we were able to sell the business when we did. So I got to retire at the age of 51, 52. So yes, I'd be the first to admit that I'm very fortunate. Southern adornments maybe. Maybe. Tamara, you should have stuck around. Help me out here. Yeah, Tisha, don't don't let that happen. I have I get messages all the time wanting to know if I'll lower the price or how much cheaper would it be if you took this off of it and yeah don't sell yourself short that to me is not a custom order that's just a pain in the tush okay Gail if I've told you right but I think it's southern adore like Dior Mints. Hey Tammy. How are you, honey? Thank you for coming by. And guys, this is someone else that I met at my mastermind. I tell you, we had such a great group of people there. Just down to earth, real people. And that means a lot. You know, I was afraid when I went because I'm just, I'm just an old country girl. And, you know, I don't dress to impress. I don't wear makeup. I don't, I'm not a frou-frou kind of chick. I am who I am. And I thought, you know, I'm just going to be out of place. Out of my league. And I'll just sit in the corner and be quiet. But it, it didn't happen that way. We all just kind of meshed real well. It was like we couldn't get enough of each other's time and space. And we enjoyed being around each other. And you don't find that very often. Usually you get done with your meeting and everybody goes their separate ways to get away from each other for a little while. And we couldn't, we couldn't uh, stay together long enough. All right, we got the bow done. It was that, Tammy. We got our bow. 
So that's always the first thing I do. And now I'm going to attach the bow and attach the pumpkin. I swear that fluff box is heavier than I'll get out. Okay. Now for my pumpkin. We'll put him on first. And I'm going to use brown pipe cleaner so that they blend in with the grapevine. Am I too close? Do I need to zoom out some? Y'all let me know if you can't see well. I get working and forget to look in the computer screen. And my zip timeouts have had time to set up. I put a little dot drop of glue, you can use DAP glue, you can use Gorilla glue, just to make them extra secure. Now, we're going to put this on down here. And no, I still have not gotten a pair of needle nose pliers. Hopefully, hopefully I'll do that, remember to do that this weekend. But no promises, because I never know from minute to minute. I did ask the hubs if uh, we were going to the city across the bay this weekend. Yeah, that's how it was, Susan. Hey, Linda. And I was told, no, we were not going across to the city because traffic is too heavy which we found that out last weekend when he picked me up from the airport. The traffic on the bridge is backed up for miles. So, I need to clean this room out. That is my plan for the weekend, to try and clean this room out. Or clean it up, something. I've got these storage they're big brown pieces of wood, um, wood, wooden pieces that my mom had in her house that she stored all her fabric and um, I lost my word, knitting, yarn, she stored in it and it's two of them and they're huge. I'm hoping they're going to fit on that wall over there, but to do that, I got to clear everything off of that side of the room, which will not be an easy thing to do. My daughter is off on Sunday, so I've asked her to help me. The hub said he was leaving home because he didn't want to be a part of it, so I've had to threaten him. with the good stuff, you know what I mean, you leave and don't help, you're, you're SOL, oh I'm having a time getting that through but I think I got it, hey Mary, alright we got the pumpkin on, finally, now we're going to put the bow on, which means struggling again to get these little wires through here. But we'll get there. How's the weather where everybody is? Is it hot? It's hot here. Very hot and humid. I am ready for fall. I'm ready for some cooler temperatures, some cooler evenings, I enjoy when we can turn on the fireplace 
I have a little gas fireplace in the living room, but I do enjoy it. I like the little fireplace. The pumpkin, I did not paint. I wish I could. But I got it from Queen Bee Designs. Hot and humid there too. Tammy, where are you from again? Minnesota. You know, when I think of Minnesota, I just automatically think of cool weather. I don't ever think of hot weather in Minnesota. I mean, I don't know why. It should be hot just like everywhere else, but I just, I guess I think of it because y'all have such cold winters. All right. We will refluff our bow and all here shortly. There's no need to worry about it too much right now. So that's where we are so far. Illinois. Okay. So is that where the crafters convention is in October? I'm not going. But I can't remember where that's going to be. Hey, Marsha. Is that hot where you are? In Florida? And when I think of Minnesota, first thing I think of, of course, is the Minnesota Vikings. Because... The Hubs is a big uh, Green Bay Packer fan, so they're big rivals. Oh, okay. I gotcha. That sounds familiar, Collinsville. We're going to start adding some leaves that will tie in with this ribbon. I'm not going, I mean, I just, between the Wreath Makers Live this year, and the Mastermind, and the new Mastermind group, and all, I just, I can't afford that. But it sounds like it's going to be a good time. And some of these leaves want to be all twisted and have a mind of their own, so... You gotta teach him who's boss. All right, let's see. Thank you, Rena. Marsha's very hot and rainy. There's a fly in here. He's bothering me. Hey, Sonia. I know Texas is hot, Bertha. You're going? Well, you'll have to report back to me. Let me know everything that I missed. What a good time it is. I'm sure it'll be a good time. No doubt. There's so many nice people going. Damon's going, and Kalia's is going, and I think Julie's going. Y'all will have a good time. Nice and cool. Hey, sweet cheeks yourself. I'm going to get a report on you here shortly today. So I know you haven't been procrastinating. I haven't bothered you all day. And how is your sick youngin? Is he better? Nice and cool. What temperature is nice and cool? Hey, Susan. 
almost missed your comment. I'm not looking all the time. I miss what people say. I'm trying to get my leaves to behave. You have to have something else listed today, Tiff. You cannot put it off. You did good yesterday, but that doesn't mean you get to stop. You have to keep up with it. It is a must, must, must. Oh, we got storms coming in, Rita. Thank you, Christine. Yeah, school starts, I get sick. It's just the start of what's to come for the rest of the year. I have some more of these, but I don't. So, what are we going to do? What else are we going to do? We're going to figure out what else we're going to do. I have these I can add. Or greenery. I'm going to put some of these in there too, but not yet. Not yet. I don't know if I want to put some greenery in here. I'm going to put some of this. Yeah, Florida does. But that's what keeps everything green and why the palm trees are so pretty. I know down at my mom's, well, it's their house now, but what was my mom and dad's house? down in Homestead, every afternoon you'd get a storm, but it wouldn't last long, and it kept everything so green and pretty, you didn't complain about it. The only problem was down there, in the summer at Homestead, <coughs> it would get so hot. That's why all the snowbirds went home. Went north to where they came from. It'll all start coming back down there in September and October. Even though it's still warm. They'll all start flocking back. Try to turn it so y'all can see what I'm doing. But then I have a hard time seeing what I'm doing. I pulled a bunch of stuff out and put here on this table. Because I wasn't sure what I was going to use. Do... Nina, what do you mean? Do I have any pink ribbon? I have plenty of ribbon. It's about every color you could ever imagine. Hey, Leah. How are you? I haven't seen you in forever. Guys, y'all have heard me talk about the Leah bow. When we talk about the Damon bow and the Leah is the one that came that designed the Leah bow, and she has a tutorial on Etsy for it, 
and it's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous bow, but since it's a paid tutorial, I won't do it on a live because, you know, it's out there for sale. Anybody that has a paid tutorial for something like that, I won't do on a live because that's just respect for each other in our business. But if you're interested, go to, is it Flip Flop Mania? on Etsy and check out her tutorial for her Leah bow. You have to have the pro bow to do it. But, yeah, it's a cute bow. Full, big. But it's nice. Am I not in the shot? I'm sorry, guys. Oh, no, wrong way. I need to be this way. Let me move my camera. Because y'all don't need to see me. Is that better? Y'all don't need to see me. You need to see what I'm doing. Yes, Rita. When somebody sells stuff like that, tutorials, it's just common courtesy not to do it on your live video. Tiffany that's here has out a new tutorial on... Tiffany, I forgot the name of it. It's a... Um, mesh technique on how um, on your base for your deco mesh and I can't remember the name of it hey Vanessa I'm great yes professional courtesy that's exactly right um so yeah, Tiffany has a tutorial that she just made on a different way. Instead of the poof method, instead of the ruffle method, she's come up with a different method. I can't remember the name, what she calls it. But again, you'll not see me do it on live because it's a paid tutorial. Woodland Poofy. There you go. And she's on Etsy under Woodland what is it? Woodland Designs. You might want to check that out. This ribbon, I'm not sure where I got it from. The green ribbon came from Kali and Kali's shop. The other one, I can't remember. And you know, that's part of the addiction. When you buy so much from so many different places, you don't know where you got it from. Because, you know, that's kind of how I roll. I get lots of ribbon from different, a lot of different places. I'm shopping around. I'm always shopping around. see where we're going to put our pumpkins. Woodland Ridge Designs. There you go. Check her out on Etsy.
Tiffany and I met originally, I think, at the Wreath Makers Live. But she was also at the Masterminds with me. So we got to be good, good buds. Val, I don't have a group. Um, maybe in the future, but right now I don't have a group. If you're interested in Leah's group, yes, Leah, help yourself. Post your, post your link. But right now, I just don't have a group. I've had several people ask me about a group, but. It's not something I've gotten into yet. I'm just not sure what direction I'm going in yet, as far as that goes. Hey, Diane Stewart. Thank you for coming by. Happy to have first-timers. Thank you, Linda. There you go, Tammy. Tammy, I have both. And I use both. The um, Pro Bow, and I also use the Easy Bow Maker. It depends on what kind of bow I want to make. So I use both. I don't limit myself. This leaf wants to come off the stem, so we're going to hot glue him on there. Because he's not going anywhere. And Tiffany, I can't imagine anybody else I'd rather be stuck with. Because, you know, I could say the same thing, that you're stuck with me. Thank you, Leah. Hey, fellas. And now to put it in here without burning myself. It's poor Joni yesterday. She burned her finger bad. Bless her heart. I'm telling you, these glue pots are nothing to play with. Not that she was playing with it. Don't get me wrong. I didn't mean it that way. But they can be tricky, dangerous. Tricky, dangerous. This greenery that I've got here came from Kali's. I can tell you that. I love her greenery because greenery is hard to find. My bow doesn't have a name. It is just a bow. I come up with different style bows. You never know what I'll end up with because that's just how I am. I'm a fly by your seat of the pants. I don't go by any structured things like, you know, so-and-so does it this way. That's how you got to do it. That's not how I roll, guys. I just kind of come up with, with my own thing. Because... We all have our own techniques and styles, and you know, there's going to be a buyer out there that likes your technique and likes your style. So, I'm going to see what this looks like in there. Be yourself. Don't try and be somebody else should always just be yourself. Do you. I think I'll do a shirt like that that says that. It says just, just do you. Anybody likes my shirt? Hanging with my heifers. It's in my shop. Available in my shop. 
because I'm hanging with my heifers. I think I want it just to glide down the side of the wreath, not stick off too far. So we'll put it up high and see if we can't direct it to come down just the side of the wreath. How's that looking? If you can see it. I'm going to put one on this side too, on the other side. That's right, Rita. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Leah. I set up live alerts, guys, if you're interested in being notified every time I go live. Just type in the word live in the comments. You'll get a little pop-up message in Messenger from Facebook, making sure that's what you want to do. Just answer yes, and you're all set up. I usually send out a notification about 30 minutes or so before I go live. And if you're not available, that's fine. You don't have to worry about it. Ow, stuck my finger in the glue. But it'll let you know, too, that there is a replay if you're interested in watching it. Also works if you're here watching the replay. If you're watching the replay later and you want to be notified, just type live in the comments. It works there, too. So you won't miss out. I might cut this ribbon a little shorter so it doesn't cover up the pumpkin. My phone's just a dinging and a binging. All right. Do we need anything else? Hold tight, guys. I'm going to look for some more leaves. I know I have to have some. It's not like me to run out of something. I knew I had more leaves. There was no way I could have run out. Just no way I could have run out. Now my hair's falling down. I'd be looking like a hot mess. All right. So, let's cut some of these off and see what we can do with those. Because you know me, I gotta have it have it full or I'm not happy. And I have to play with it for a bit before I decide it's full enough. And this has green in it, which is good. Diane, that's a hard question. Wreath designing, I've probably only been doing mm, off and on for 10 years. And I say that because, like I said earlier, I was working full time for a business that we owned. So it was a hobby when I had time. Because there wasn't always time to do any kind of hobby. 
and I did a lot of different hobbies. But I started my business in the end of October last year. So I'm coming up on my year anniversary with this business. But I also did, I do machine embroidery. I still take local orders for that. I didn't start that until I retired. I do a little sign painting here and there, but that's just kind of a relaxation thing. It's not something that I'm pushing to do because my wreath my wreathing is my number one priority. My wreath business. So this is our busy time of the year getting ready to start. So this is when we really need to pick up the pace and get things rolling. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Ann. Oh, you're welcome, Diane. You know, most creatives I've found do a lot of different things. I don't know if it's the... Uh, what word am I looking for? I don't want to say ADD because it's not that. It, But it's... I don't know the word for it, but it, you're unsettled, especially when you see new things and you think, oh, I want to try that. Something, new things you try, you're not very good at. Some new things you find out, I'm not bad at it. But you normally have one passion, one major passion that uh that's your end goal the rest of it's just kind of fill in and sometimes you just need a change of pace to do something different so yeah i found that to be true that i think if you ask anybody that's creative they're they're multi-creative in different areas they enjoy doing many different things I guess if you ask Damon what he's multi-creative in, it probably wouldn't be another craft. Because I don't think he does anything else other than wreathing. But it would be in teaching. This sign was done by Queen V Designs. She did the sign. I would like to do the sign. I could probably... If the pumpkin was all cut out and I had a, a, a pattern to go by, I could probably do it. Because this is not too difficult of a design. I don't know that it would be as pretty as hers to begin with. I would have to practice, but I think I could probably do this pumpkin. But she does awesome work. She has some awesome stuff. She did this pumpkin also. I just haven't figured out what colors I'm going to use with it. Because that's going to be a little tricky. I'm just placing these leaves in here. Because I don't like to have any blank spots. So it's going to be leafy. It's going to be leafy. The pumpkin is attached with cable tie mounts. I put a little drop of glue and some cable tie mounts and then used uh, yeah, these things. Pipe cleaners to attach it. 
Oh, another first timer. Linda, they used to with me. I started out doing mesh. Because I thought, you know, I don't think I'm going to be very good at Grapevine. Well, I stepped outside my comfort zone and did my first Grapevine a few months ago with florals. And I thought, you know, I really like doing florals. I like the flowers and all the greenery. And, and the more I did, the more I liked. I still do some meshries. But I enjoy the grapevines more. Thank you, Susan. Have a good afternoon. I'm trying to get this glued on here. All right. That's a good idea, Rita. I do a little. I do a little painting. Like I said earlier, for me it's relaxing. I enjoy it. So if I'm just sitting and watching TV, I can pull out the, I have like a TV table that's bigger. I can pull that out, some paint, piece of wood, and sit there and paint for a while. While I, you know, the TV, most of the time the TV's on and I'm not watching it, but yeah, I enjoy it. I think, I think we've got this wreath pretty well full trying to see if there's any empty spots anywhere that needs filling in. Alright, let me change my camera angle so y'all can see better. So you can see the whole thing. What you think? Alright, Tiffany, I'll check on you later. Thank you, Regina. I think we've got it full enough, guys. I think it's... Of course, I'll hang it on the door and have to look at it a little bit and make sure. But I think we got this one as done. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Bonnie. I appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me this afternoon. It's always nice to have my friends hang out with me. i got to tighten that up some more. I don't like my pumpkin moving. And I like to share with you guys. If you ever have any questions or anything, don't hesitate to ask. I don't mind and as you can see I don't mind my friends out there in the crafting world sharing their information their sites their tutorials because you know I'm here to support everybody and hopefully they're here to support me I put the bow on first, Regina. That's the first thing I do. I always do my bow first. And then I put my sign on. And then I work around the two. Whatever needs needs doing after that. After I put my bow on and my sign on, then I start filling in the rest. So I know what space I have to work with. This little pumpkin wants to droop down. There we go. Thank you, Christine. All right, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your afternoon. And an even more wonderful weekend. Pray for me to get this room straightened out. Because I'm going to need all the prayers I can get. <laughs> I appreciate every one of you guys for coming in and supporting me. Sharing, liking. If you're watching the replay, shares and likes are appreciated there also. And I hope every one of y'all have a great, safe, wonderful weekend. Bye now.